here is the recipe for going into a weight loss stall. If you want a weight loss stall, here's the recipe. First thing is eat a lot of carbohydrates. Eat a lot of sugar, refined carbohydrates, or just a high carbohydrate diet. Eat a lot of unsaturated seed oils, such as canola and sunflower. Don't check your T3 thyroid hormone. Have high uric acid levels and eat a lot of salt and don't exercise and cheat with sweet tastes or with any carbohydrates. And don't eat uh, enough animal fats and calorie restrict calorie restrict yourself especially if you're on the carnivore diet calorie restrict of course i'm sarcastic <laughs> don't do this recipe do the opposite of this recipe if you are in a weight loss store or if you don't want a weight loss store so the first thing of course that you need to do is do a low carbohydrate diet like the carnivore diet we don't consume a lot of carbohydrates in fact we only eat animal products and the only animal products that has carbohydrates in them really is of course eggs and cheese and some of the organs but it's very low carbohydrate of course we go into ketosis that is the main point but we, of course, eat animal fats, saturated fats. And we cook with saturated seed oil, such as um, palm oil and coconut oil and real olive oil, not the diluted type. And, of course, check your T3 levels. Specifically, um, not only T4 and TSH, check out video 123. Check your uric acid levels. It should be below 5.5, not just 7. It's not just about gout. Check out video number 12. Check out also video Q12 and Q20, as well as Q65 on my Frequently Asked Question playlist on YouTube. Of course, exercise. Don't cheat with sweet taste. Don't cheat with carbohydrates. Eat enough animal fat. And don't calorie restrict with the carnivore diet. So just to talk about salt, you can salt lightly. Don't over salt, don't eat too much salt. Because as I explained in other videos, when you eat too much salt, you trigger the polyol pathway and you trigger the body's survival mechanism. And that causes your body to make fructose from glucose. And ultimately it tells your body to go into survival mode and it tells your body not to burn a lot of fat to store fat and to down ratchet your uh, metabolism the same happen with high uric acid levels check out video q12 so lightly if you salt lightly it's fine and if you don't have a problem with um, weight loss stall or with hypertension uh, if salt is not a problem for you it's absolutely fine but consider this information uh, if ever you encounter such a problem. Um, of course, the main way how we reverse hypertension is by getting rid of insulin resistance. So with the carnivore diet, we get rid of insulin resistance. There's no doubt about that. But if you oversalt, you can absolutely become insulin resistant again. You can absolutely become uh, get hypertension again. It happened to me. Uh, you can check back on my videos where I've testified to the fact when I overeat on salt, my blood pressure goes up. But if I get back on the salt again, even though I'm low carb, even though I'm on the carnivore diet, if I eat too much salt, my, I have hypertension. And the other thing is I become insulin resistant. It's, there was a study done um, where they proved that within five days of eating a high salt diet, you can become insulin resistant. So just to uh, talk about exercising again, 
when you exercise uh, your body, your, your muscles, your cells don't need insulin uh, to utilize glucose. So it's one of the only ways of one of the only times that you don't need insulin to utilize glucose. So if you exercise, you actually help your body to become less insulin resistant and you become more insulin sensitive. And it also exercise stimulates the opposite of the polyol pathway, which I described earlier. In other words, if you are exercising, you're actually telling your body to speed up the metabolism and um, it tells your body not to store fat, but to burn fat. And uh, this is the way that you will get out of a weight loss stall. So consider the opposite of the points that I've had on the screenshot, uh, the nine things. It's so important that you follow a recipe, but don't follow that recipe. Follow the opposite of that recipe and eat the, on, in the carnivore way. And remember the five rules of the carnivore diet or the, the idea behind it is only eat animal products cook with saturated fats, animal fats, or saturated seed oils, not unsaturated seed oils. But the real animal fats are better, in my opinion. Um, then don't put sweet taste in your mouth. Eat until you're not another bite full. And that is the point about calorie restricting that I had on the screenshot. Don't calorie restrict on the carnivore diet because you will trigger the survival mechanism of your body because your body will go into a weight loss stall thinking that you are starving and we did not understand the mechanism now we understand that mechanism there's a survival mechanism insulin resistance is actually a good thing um, in the sense that in, in times of famine in times of survival insulin resistance will protect your body um, it will uh, keep your body from dying to a certain extent because of the mechanism of the polyol pathway it can actually store your body it tells your body uh, store fat it can it tells your body go winter is coming and you have to prepare um, that is why animals that hibernate use the very same mechanism like bears they eat a lot of blueberries and they store all that f fat as fat uh, and that is the way how they get fat so don't calorie restrict on the carnivore diet and the last point is eat enough animal fat because if you are going to cut too much down on your animal fat you will feel lethargic and you'll have to cheat you'll um, you will look for food and snacks and so forth because you don't have enough energy so stay in ketosis that is the point but consider the points that I've mentioned. So check out video 123 on my blog as well as video number 12 uh, on my blog.